Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mai and today's video is this really cute vintage apartment that I've built in the fashion district of San Mai Shuno. And sorry if this first clip is a little bit glitchy, it's a little bit difficult to film inside apartments in The Sims. So um, yeah, it was kind of an ordeal to get that clip. But anyways, um, my original plan for today's video was actually this really gorgeous, large family Tudor style house but I was having some technical difficulties, so I ended up switching to an apartment build, and then my original plan for the apartment was to do like this modern minimalist apartment, but then I was kind of like looking through the cozy bistro items, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna switch it up and try to use the cozy bistro items like inside an apartment. And I'm so glad that I made those changes because I'm obsessed with the result. Like I'm actually obsessed with how this apartment turned out. And I really can't wait to hear what you guys think about this because um, yeah, I just, I wanna know if we're on the same page. But um, thank you all for like bearing with me during these last few weeks that I've been trying to get settled and you know, handling the move, all of my changes. Um, I'm also like in a completely different time zone than I was before, so I'm also like trying to adjust my schedule so that I can get the videos out around the same time that I used to be getting the videos out. Um, so yeah, it's just been, it's, it's been an ordeal, but we are working through it and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to, to really just get back into where we left off. But um, here in the kitchen, there's, this apartment has like that lot trait that is called like TLC. So there's like a lot of items that you have to fix. So there's a lot of like unmovable items like those pipes and the electrical panel. And so I decided to kind of make it like a little pantry feature area. So I framed it using those two walls with the columns and then kind of placing some shelves around it so that it looks a little bit more on purpose, kind of like it's a little bit of a storage closet, um, which I'm kind of into. Obviously it like ate up quite a bit of the space in the apartment. Um, this apartment originally, like, you know, the, the, not base, but, um, I don't know, just originally the EA build was a two bedroom apartment, but I changed it into just a one bedroom that's maybe a little bit more spacious. Um, but yeah, I decided to make this little feature in the kitchen. I'm actually really, really happy with how the kitchen turned out. I do end up in post-production adding a rug. I don't do that now just because it's a little bit complicated for me to find rugs for some reason and I didn't really want to drag you guys along um, but yeah I'm just kind of obsessed with how the kitchen turned out it's a little bit like small kind of galley kitchen style and there's no dishwasher but um, I don't know I'm still pretty content with it and um, here in the living room I'm so so happy with this living room because that couch that I found from growing together the red on it matches the chairs from the bistro kit so beautifully and I got to pair it with this growing together rug with the blue and stuff and I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just really really happy with it. And uh, under the TV I used a little hallway table from, I think it's Crystal Creations, and I really loved the deep blue there. Um, I thought that it just like kind of added, I don't know, it, it like tied in with the rug and with the couch and it was just super perfect. And um, next to the door I added that like it's not like a vanity table. I don't really know. It's a hallway table with a mirror um, from the For Rent expansion pack, and I also am just so obsessed with that one. And finding an armchair for this space was actually kind of difficult as well, um, or not even as well. It's probably one of the only things that I really, really struggled with. Um, I couldn't really figure out what style I wanted, and finding the right swatches too was hard. It's like when you find the right style, you can't find the right swatch. But um, in the end, I think I end up using, yeah, I end up using this little armchair from Cats and Dogs, which I'm so in love with. Um, I was going to say obsessed again, but I've been saying that a lot already. Um, I should put like a little obsessed counter um, in the corner. But I end up using this armchair from Cats and Dogs. And um, I don't know if you guys saw that when you log in to The Sims, you can get like these rewards or something this month. I don't really know what exactly that event is but um, there are these like pillows that you could win. So I actually end up like raising them up and placing them on that little couch. And um, I don't know, just like picking out some colors that really tie it into the rest of the room. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just like, I'm really happy with how this entire living room turned out, especially like after dealing with all like the difficulties when making, um, I was gonna say, I don't know what I was gonna say. Anyways, um, all the difficulties when making and filming the other video and then um, like the bigger house and then um, yeah my original plan to make just a minimalist apartment 
I don't know what I was thinking. This is way better. So um, yeah, I think I think the best things in life tend to be a little bit unexpected. But um, yeah, just adding some more curtains around. I decided to use the curtains from the Modern Luxe kit. I think they're really cute and I like how, you know, they're pretty customizable. Um, here in this little kind of sunroom corner, I decided to place an easel alongside this bookshelf. I was thinking about placing a little bit of a desk, but I just really liked the way that, um, I don't know, the light in there and the view, it's just perfect for a little painting corner. And moving on into the bedroom, um, this is our only bedroom, and um, I was thinking about trying to mix up the wallpaper a little bit so it's not all the same everywhere, but I decided to keep it the same, and um, yeah, I just, I think I do change up the color scheme a little bit in here. I use this bed from the Discover University expansion pack that has kind of like that deep cherry wood and that teal bedding, which I think is so cute. I really like that. And um, I decide to use this little kind of sunroom corner in here to place the desk. Although this like just regular rectangular Crystal Creations desk was a little bit too chunky for this space since it's so small. And especially when I added the curtains, it made it just a little bit too closed off in there. So instead of using this desk, which even though I do really love it, it just, it was too much. Um, I end up switching it to like a base game, just like round table. You'll see me pick it out. I try a bunch of different ones, especially trying to see how each computer sits on it. I end up going with a laptop because it was, you know, small enough to fit nicely. And that way you can also use it on like different surfaces in the house, um, on like the, at the kitchen island if you want, or even at the little dining table. But um, this way I got to make it a little bit more diagonal and looking out onto the city. Um, and I also just kind of customized some shelves behind the chair and I didn't really think of a career for the person that lives here. Maybe they do something a little bit more creative. Um, maybe they're a teacher. I also considered maybe they could be a teacher, but um, yeah, I don't think that this house is like super designed for like a specific personality. Probably a little bit more creative because of the easel, but honestly, all in all, they could just be somebody who likes to paint um, alongside their much more, I don't know, logical job. Um, although I don't think creativity and logic don't go hand in hand. Anybody that thinks that creativity and logic are opposites, I don't, I don't think that's the case. But um, these are the little custom shelves that I added in the back because honestly the bookshelves are just a little bit too big. Um, yeah, just using those shelves from the Crystal Creations kit. And I'm um, over here in the bedroom, I'm using my Probably my favorite table lamps that we have in the game. Um, those ones are from Cats and Dogs and they're just so cute with the stained glass and everything. And under the bed, I place another growing together rug, except it's in a different swatch. Um, yeah, I just, I'm kind of happy that the growing together rug had, um, yeah, it just had colors for every room in the house. And um, I end up choosing to go with a smaller wardrobe from high school years and placing that vanity table that just matched the bed perfectly, which I really love. It has that like cherry wood and um, I used another like cafe little bistro kit um, chair except in a different swatch that matched the room a little bit nicer. And um, over here we have a very blank wall and I was kind of struggling to figure out what kind of art to place on it. I knew I wanted to do a little bit more of a gallery wall than like one single piece. Um, I start off with these vintage frames that we got with the Cafe Bistro kit. Um, however, sorry, Cozy Bistro kit. I keep calling it Cafe Bistro. Um, yeah, originally I like started placing the exact same swatches that I used in my last build, which was like the Bistro train kit, um, or sorry, Bistro train build. Um, but yeah, I end up actually, instead of doing like the three that are the same size, I end up doing one regular size and then one size down and then adding a shelf with a little plant on it, which I think is super cute. It's super sweet and, um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit different, I think. Um, and it makes it a little bit more like three dimensional and oh my goodness, I forgot about this. I'm obsessed. I put this ottoman from Island Living, um, underneath our little gallery wall and I used these pillows that um, I had mentioned before came with the little like, I don't know, daily reward of the week or whatever it's called, um, where it's like every day of the week you get something different. Um, but anyways, yeah, I placed those there and thought those were so cute and it made it like, it just like brought the entire room together. Um, but over here, we're going to be working on the bathroom. 
And obviously this is a very simple room, um, just a couple of, just like the toilet's base game, uh, the, not the sink, the sink is actually cottage living. Um, the shower is base game and um, yeah, just decorating it pretty simply. There's really not much to it. I didn't make, I don't know, the bathroom any big feature, um, but we are in the screenshots, yay. So now we're going to get to see all of the last little details that I added around the house. Um, cluttered up that hallway table, added a record player, um, there's those pillows that I talked about on the armchair as well. Um, yeah, just honestly added a lot of wall art that I hadn't added before or that I didn't like want to take the time to pick out. Um, but yeah, also I was having kind of some difficulty painting the ceiling, so it might be a little bit splotchy in some parts, so apologies. But there's also the rug that I mentioned that I added in the kitchen and I also filled up all of the shelves. Um, in that kind of utility closet area. And here we have our gorgeous painting sunroom with the bookshelf from Crystal Creations with that ladder. Obsessed, so, so obsessed. And here in the bedroom, we also have some more wall art that I picked out um, just like above the nightstands. Um, yeah, I, I'm really happy with the choices that I made in there. I honestly couldn't be happier with how this apartment turned out every little detail and honestly the color scheme I feel like I, I use some colors that I don't use too often um, god I can't imagine what it's like to work in that little sunroom but here we're going to see the bathroom which means it's going to be the last space and our last few screenshots but I can't wait to hear what you guys think I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I did Bye buds and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Comment and share with your friends. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.